These are the parts I'm going to use for the desalinator. Obviously a metal drinking bottle. This one's got a plastic lid. That's going to be no good for the prolonged heating. So I picked this up in a local hardware store. It's just a brass plumbing end cap. You can get them in lots of different sizes. Take your bottle and you'll easily find one that will fit most metal bottles. They've got all got a similar thread. This one fits. It's important that this is made of brass. I've also got this copper S-Bend. Uh, this is a half inch bore and I've got three different types of flexible uh, pipe here. This is a bendable still fairly solid copper tube. Um, I'm going to use a combination of all three because it's what I've got kicking around. Uh, if you went to the hardware store or DIY centre you could buy so it all matches. The most important thing is having it so you can assemble a length of tube that you can take apart into two or three pieces to store in your bag. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to be using. I'm also going to be using a drill, a hacksaw, a, a gas blowtorch and some plumbing solder. So I'm going to get on with the build. First step, I've got this adapter that I've had kicking around in a box of junk that is the perfect thread to screw onto here. And I've used the hacksaw, cut this piece off which would screw onto the bottom of a tap. Well, no use for that now. This hose will then fit onto here and this push fit connector will fit onto here. So I've now got a way of attaching all three tubes together. So onto the next bit. You'll see now <clears throat> I've made a hole in the brass cap and this copper S piece has got a flanged end which is larger diameter so I'm going to thread that through and then solder that into the cap with some plumbing solder. So I'm going to do that now. So here it is soldered on. This is the crucial part to make your desalinator work. This will co convert your drinking bottle into a means for you to extract drinking water from seawater and urine. Even if you didn't bother with all the pipe work, if you make one of these for your bottle and carry it in your bag, it's going to be so much easier for you to create a desalinator, round in some pipe work up from something else. But now I'm just going to do a demonstration showing it all working. So here it is going, obviously just for demonstration I've got it on this gas fire just to show you. Um, all the hoses are connected, the bottle was half filled with water to represent salt water and then as you come along the hoses there's a lot of wet cloth wrapped around and then as you can see in the bottom of the glass here it's just started, there's about getting on for half an inch of water in the bottom and it just very slowly just trickles out the end as it condenses. It's a really good idea to use a piece of copper pipe in your um, desalinator as it with the wet cloth on it it will help rapid condensation by transferring the heat away much better than a rubber hose. So there you go. You can break these hoses down they're only done up finger tight as you can see there's no steam escaping anywhere or the solder joint this compression joint it's all done up finger finger tight no steam leaking out anywhere um, quite efficient at doing what it's doing creating drinking water and in a survival situation being able to transform your seawater or urine into drinkable water is well it's going to save your life so there you go hope you enjoyed this video on how to make your water bottle into a desalinator and uh, build your own
Thanks very much.